All that snow up in the Rockies right now is great news for water supplies, but it does come with a new concern. Hydrologists are noticing something on that snow this year that could lead to dangerous flooding. Keely Chalmers explains. When it comes to snow in the mountains, the more the better, right? It's exactly what we're seeing this year. We have more snow than average this year. Stephen Fosnott is a professor of snow hydrology at Colorado State University. He's long been monitoring our state's snow, and he says this year he's seeing something different. I was at Rabbit Ears a week and a half ago and saw a very pronounced dust layer. You can see it in this photo a few inches below the surface. While dust is common in Colorado Southern Mountains blown in from the dry Four Corners area, finding it that far north, says Fosnot, is not normal at all. In fact, the hydrologist says he hasn't seen this much dust on snow in nearly two decades. This here is interesting because we're seeing dust all across the state. He says much stronger winds this year were able to carry that Four Corners dust a lot further. The concern, that blanket of dust acts more like a heating blanket. That's because instead of reflecting the sun as clean snow does, the dust absorbs the solar radiation and heats it up. You add a layer of dust on top of that snow and that really allows the this, this snowpack to absorb more of that sun and melt much, much quicker. Accelerated snow melt plus a lot of snow equals a lot of water coming down in a short amount of time. That, that means that you know, we, have, we have a good possibility of seeing more flooding than we normally see from snow melt. And while it's an anomaly this year, Fosnot says it won't be in the future. Scientists predict with our changing climate, weather is becoming more severe, winds stronger, droughts more intense. We have the drying part, which is going to then provide the dust, and then we have the wind part that's going to blow that dust onto the snowpack. And we will need to prepare for the rapid snowmelt, the potential flooding, and mitigate for any damage as much as possible. Keely Chalmers, 9 News. Fasnot stresses that flooding is part of the natural system and is not something we need to fix. And it is something we need to track. Most communities already have flood plans in place. It's those that have not prepared for flooding that could be impacted by all of this.